In case you missed this play, the Los Angeles Lakers in Houston taking on the Rockets and still no Anthony Davis, which means the Lakers got to rely on not just LeBron James, but Russell Westbrook's got to do his part of this Lakers team wants to be competitive. Jalen Green and Houston had other plans. Look at Green fly through the air. To be fair to Brody, he's been actually playing better as of late, and he had a really good game against his former team. Look at Westbrook reversing at the rim, and then Brody in the fourth giving the Lakers a three-point lead with a little over three minutes to play. Westbrook with his team down two, ties it up. He was the clutch guy for Los Angeles in this one. Lakers would end up in overtime with the Rockets. LeBron didn't want to take a layup. Don't even get me started on that. And any extra period, as Brody misses the layup, he's done a lot of that this year. LeBron, slow to get back on defense, and the Rockets make the Lakers pay. Look, to be fair to LeBron, all things considered, I feel like he's done a great job of not losing his freaking mind dealing with what this Lakers team has been this year. Front off his own down. They haven't given LeBron a lot to, to work with this season. I sometimes wish LeBron would show more of his emotions and, and gear it towards his teammates more because they deserve that vitriol and that frustration with a guy as great as LeBron who's still playing at a great level at the age of 37. LeBron opts to not get back on defense as the Lakers get destroyed in overtime. They lose to the Rockets.